Come on. Come on. Pay attention. Got you that time, you bastard. What's happening, folks? This is Mr. Markaholic, and welcome back to the Long Dark. The longest of darks. So when we left off, we just managed to grab some meat, which is great. We're curing some stuff. We're curing some more stuff down there. And... I'm going to grab that. And... We have, I believe we have, yep, we have water, we have food, we have bullets. We have three hours of daylight left. Maybe we should go out and forage some wood. That's what we should do. So to start this off, we're going to forage some wood, we're going to get some sleep, and then we're going to go out and check our traps. Wolfie, Wolfie, are you out here? No, because there's a deer. And there's not down there either. That suits me. So what I'm going to do is just get to forage this wood. Uh, we could use some of that and some of that. There, you can never really have enough wood um, in terms of... Uh, if you're holding on to a base at any point. If you have some hours to spare on the outside and when it's not going to free, you know, it's not going to freeze you to death as soon as you try and do anything for an hour or two, then I, I highly recommend using it to um, forage wood. If you have some time at night, Inside, I highly recommend you use it to grab some uh, grab some water. These are things that will keep you alive. And there we go, tinder plug. Uh, we could probably drop that on the other side right now. Let's do that. Let's drop them all here. What did I just drop there? Oh, these rose hip things, whatever they are. Um, 25, okay. Right, so we could use something to eat. We could use a drink, and then we could use a sleep. Or could we probably... Yeah, we're good for water just now. We're going to leave that and we're going to get to sleep here. We'll go for six hours. I don't t I don't often recommend going for longer, long, long periods of sleep unless you're completely fine on everything because then you may start dehydrated at some point during the night. Um, ten days, guys. Ten days. We're in ten days. Four hours left of darkness. We're looking okay for another four hours of bed. <laughs> I lost the bed there. Um... Once we get up, we might be able to have time to grab some water this morning before it gets any, before it gets warmer. Ninety-six percent, we're almost there. We could use a drink. We'll do another three hours. Try and get the coldest part of the morning out of the way. Come on. There we go. Should be light here. Yep. We're hungry. We could use cooking some stuff. Let's do that. Let's cook some food, make some water, and then head out. Uh, we need to equip some stuff. Okay, and we will go with that. 86% is another good one. Cook some food, make some water, store some things here, head out and see if we've got any rabbits. Pesky wabbits. What I would like to do is get things cured, make some items of clothing, go and check out the dam, and then move on. That's what I would like to do. Um, I will remain by keeping a game here, like uh, a base here, even. I will keep everything um, here for obvious reasons, making sure that there's plenty of stuff here for emergency. So if we come back, we don't have to start again. There's going to be some water, there's going to be some food. There's going to be some uh, some wood and some things to start a fire. For the most part, I'm hoping that we can move on. We can get through the first part, um, which is the coastal highway, and then move on to the other part. I can't remember the name of that now. Um, but that would be ideally what I'd like to do is just keep on moving. At the moment, is a good place to set up, get us some warm clothes and things like that.
Let's add some fuel to the fire. Do four liters of that. Maybe should be enough. Four liters. Um, we'll need to eat something soon. Nine hours of daylight left. You know what I might do? I might not add anything else. Ah, no, we could do a couple. We'll do a couple since we're here. There we go. We'll leave some. We're going to throw some out there and leave some water here anyway. Grab something to eat and then get moving. Uh, we'll just put the water down here. Let's put that. And we'll put, let's see, a litre of that. Eat some of this. Eat some of this. We're going to drop some of this. We don't need to be carrying that extra weight. Drop that, drop that. Drop that. Hmm. Probably could use drop and accelerant as well. And yeah, that should do. That should do. Okay, let's go and check our traps, guys. Nine hours left. Let's get going. Oh, I prefer to go out the front door um, because you can see see slightly more from the front door. Coming out the side kind of leaves you. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Did I hit it? If I hit it, I will track it. If I didn't, I'm not going to bother. I never even hit the bastard and thing. It's gone. It just scaled this bloody mountain in no time. Shit. Well, we could use a wolf pelt right enough. Maybe we could go close enough for him to see us and then just... Come on. Come on. Pay attention. Got you that time, you bastard. Well, since it's here. Since it's here. We could do three kilos of that meat. We could... There we go. The hide and the gut. So what we'll do is that shouldn't that only takes an hour, so we'll jump in, drop the stuff to start curing, drop the meat, and then jump back out again. Not an issue there. I'm really annoyed I never hit that deer. That again looked to me like a headshot. If anybody does know how the ballistics work in this game, let me know what we actually I mean the gun just I don't know, just doesn't seem it just doesn't seem as accurate as I'd like it to be, but then no gun really is that accurate, you know, so if that's the case, that's fine. Just let me know. So let's drop some wolf meat here. I need to remember to pick that up because I don't, I'd really like, don't want to waste that. We could drop the pelt to let that cure and we can drop the gut as well. We need to get as much gut as we can, really. Got some wood down here as well. Okay. Dehydrated condition will drop in a second. If I don't quickly... There we go. We're fine. So that should leave us... Yeah, we're in good situation to go ahead and go on over and check our traps. Watch, we'll go over, there'll be nothing. If there is, that would be awesome. Even two. Two would be nice. Because we can reset them. Um, hmm. Where to reset them, though? Probably just a bit further in. We'll reset them. If we can pick up whatever there is there, reset them, come back. And then, um... <clears throat> think. That should be about us, really. Um... I know it's over here. Come on. Ah. Snowmobile. A snowmobile would be a cool idea. 
scare off all the animals right enough, but I mean, it would not be a bad idea to have a snowmobile. So, did we get anything? Not a bloody thing. So this is not the area for it. Let's reset these then. Let's go have a little look for some for some bunny rabbits. Oh, storm. Here's the bunny rabbits here, right? Okay. That's fine. We'll reset that about round about here. There's three of them here, so that's fine. I kinda know where I am, so we can always get back even if it's storming. One there. I'll put one at the other side. I have trapped in the game before and it didn't seem to be a bad thing to have one thing at each side. Believe it or not. I know it seems a bit stupid, but as long as it's on the line where they go... Let's put, put them there and then we'll get going back. Is it cold? It is bloody freezing. Oh, the storms are coming. Okay. We're just going to hug this here. It is very cold. So I wonder, do, if we go in here, does that not be... Is it not as cold? No, it isn't as cold. Hmm. Okay. So that would be a good place to stop off if we really needed to. No, I mean, I think we're, we've got plenty of time to get back to where we need to go. I think so anyway, I hope we do. And then what we'll do is we'll get some stuff prepared. And then we should be good. We could do with some fishing later on, maybe. Um, possibly go hunting for another deer or a wolf just so we can start getting more gut cured and stuff like that but there's no point in doing any of that in this weather there really isn't I mean by the time you get near a deer in this weather, it, it'll know you're there anyway, so, you know, it's kind of pointless. Let's just jump in the back here. There we go. Okay, so, there was feathers in here, that's fine. How are we getting on with these? 15, 20%? 1, 20, some, okay. Not too bad. Uh, did we get anything else while we're out there, or do we put them in? We put them in. That's fine. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? Have we got food? No, we've not got food. We have got water. We should be okay just now, actually. Um, what I'll do... These will leave there just now. Yeah, what I'm going to do is... rest for a couple hours Ho hopefully the storm will die down and then we'll go pick up another animal then we should yep that's enough time to pick up an animal condition is a hundred percent hungry but that's okay let's go get something that's not a bear we are not in bear hunting terms at the moment there is the wolf Yeah, it's pretty cold out here. The wind isn't helping us. What do we think? Down here? Or up there? Down here because it will be warmer. There's a wolf. Okay. We'll get this bad boy here. Because the wolf pelt... Wolf pelt coat, I think it is, is actually awesome. I got it once and it kept me warm and toasty. Got you, bastard. 
Five kilos of meat, that's not too bad. One hide, two gut. And we're two hours, five minutes, or we are one hour, thirty minutes. I am far more inclined to go for the one hour and thirty minutes. <coughs> that's a fair thing to gut in an hour and, you know, an hour and thirty minutes, actually. And, and to clean an animal like that and make sure things are still usable in that time is, is not a bad time, in my opinion. Um, I, know that, I know people who could do it quicker. Um, as I said, I moved to the USA. Um, my family, uh, my wife's family, are big hunters. I know that people there could probably do a quicker job at it, um, having hunted forever. Oh, hello. I definitely hit that. That must be hit. No, I didn't hit. What, are deer invincible or something? Bastard deer. Okay. Maybe not. I definitely was sure I hit that. Also, where are the tracks? Oh. I guess those... Kind of, I guess. They don't really look like deer tracks, but okay. Um, okay. What we'll do is we'll get in. We'll drop the stuff. And then we're probably going to call that a short episode. Um, got a couple of things I need to do today, so it might be an extra short episode, but it's fine. It means it'll upload quicker, and I'll put another one up sooner. So that's okay. So let's get this out. What did we pick up? Another pelt. And some more gut as well. Okay. Awesome. What we'll do is when we come back, we'll get some meat. What I'm going to quickly do is just go in and out again. I only do this to make sure it's saved before I end the game, so that's uh, so that I don't, you know, spawn back to when there was nothing going on. It's dark out here now, um, and then it saves, and then we're good to go. So when we pick up, we'll pick up right here, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you do like it, leave a comment down below. Say hello. I will usually comment back, um, usually uh, unless I don't see it for whatever reason, but that hasn't happened yet. And uh, say hi. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. See you in the next episode. Bye.